when you were talking about that grip strength between men and women, yeah. I mean, that's just a reality because men have been feminized for so long now and women are told get stronger. So you have society that's constantly propping women up in the sense of saying, you don't need a man, go get that career, get that nine to five, climb that corporate ladder, get in the gym, get strong, be Sarah Connor from The Terminator. I know I grew up in that time where I was like, oh, I want to be Sarah Connor. <laughs> you know, of course, that was a movie that wasn't real. Um, but you have women getting that message and you have guys getting the message, sit down and let the girls talk in school, they say. Sit back. You've been talking enough. Guys have been talking enough in this life. Let the girls step up to the podium and talk. Let them have their chance. And the guys are deflated all the time. I've seen it happen in academia all the time. Guys get the message that if they're masculine and they're proud of that masculinity, that that's somehow toxic and they have to now become more feminized. I believe this is all by design because as I've said many times, you can't destroy a society without going after strong men because if rebellion needs to happen, that's the group of people that are going to stand up. Those toxically masculine men are the ones that are going to stand up and say, no, they're going to know how to defend themselves and their family. They're going to be financially stable and they're not going to swallow all of the nonsense coming their way. So they need to weaken those guys without question.